We're trying to figure out which of the following could be a value of 100x plus 200y. So, and we know x plus y is 1. So let's simplify this 100x plus 200y. We know that y equals 1 minus x. So let's plug this 1 minus x in for y. That's 100x plus 200 times 1 minus x. So that's 100x plus 200 minus 200x. So that is 200 minus 100x. It's going to be easier to plug into here than to plug into here, not to mention I only have one variable now. So the Roman number 1 says 80. So could 200 minus 100x equal 80? And the answer is no. Because uh, this, this is negative 120. x is 120 over 100. That's more than 1. And we know that x plus y, they both got to be fractions. And we know they're positive, of course, because of this. So that's over 100. There's no way you could get a y value. All right, so that's disqualified, you could say. So now let's try the next one, 140. So I need to take my, let me color that in. So if I take, um, I can't get that to go back in. There we go. Let me see, 200. Ooh, I don't like, let me make this white. 200 minus 100x, and this time we're going to set equal to what? 140. And this is going to work, because look, I'm going to work it all the way out, but you could actually stop right now. Because I know this is negative 60, and it's going to end up being 60 over, a, it's going to end up being positive 60 over 100. So one would be 60 over 100, and the other would be 40 over 100. This is x is 60. Hello? So x is 60 over 100. All right. And that's less than 1, and then we know the other one would be 40 over 100. So 140 works. Now let's try the very last one. 200 minus 100x equals to what? It's 99, isn't it? No, 199. That's also going to work because you're left with negative 100x equals negative 1. It's going to end up being a 1 over 100. The other one would be 99 over 100. So the answer is E.